Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Agent Psycho, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the review on the all-new Forgeable variant that was recently introduced to Combat Arms as of the last July patch, and that is the Bren Light Machine Gun. Um, according to Combat Arms' description, apparently this is a British World War II so, uh, machine gun. And I know how many of you guys flamed me on my M1 Garand review because I accidentally said World War One instead of World War Two. Yes, I was aware of that, so... Meh. Anyways, so hopefully I don't get my uh, get my gun in description or my gun information wrong like last time. <laughs> Anyways, this is gonna be the gun review on the Bren LMG. So the Bren, right off the bat, I'm gonna just tell you guys that even though it's cl technically classified as a machine gun, it's a very unique machine gun. Um, and it's really not very unique in the good sense, but you can take it for what it is. Um, it does have its advantages, though. That's I can I can tell you that for sure. So it may be suited for mo some people, but for the most part, uh, for those of you guys who are normal MG fans, you're probably not going to uh, be definitely you're not going to be used to uh, the Bren style. So without further ado, let's get started on the review. So statistically speaking, I don't really have a, an idea what's going on. Um, I did at one point rem uh, did I did like you know compare this Bren stats to the uh, to other machine guns or to other weapons for that matter to see uh, what kind of numerical statistics it has. And I think I remember that the damage was the same as like I had a G36. E I don't know. I think it was weak, a little bit weaker than the G36E. However, um, it just it just feels like the damage. The damage on the Bren is very solid um coupled with this pretty fast rate of fire um you just have the Bren just gives off a feeling of like it can knock down people very fast and very well if it has that really really untankable feeling if you guys know what i mean um i don't know if it's because of its muzzle noise like the noise that it makes when you fire the Bren, or maybe it's because it's really powerful it's, it's actually really powerful but i just feel like whenever i'm using the Bren. If I can get my shots on target, then I know my enemy will go down. It has that kind of an assurance feeling, um, the Bren. So, I don't know what to think of that. Um, however, at the same time, uh, do keep in mind that the Bren only has 30 rounds. And you can't modify that, unfortunately enough. So... Uh, I don't really agree with that because I'm just so used to having a hundred round belt magazine or mag uh, drum barrel magazine machine guns, but I suppose that's how that's where the charm of the Bren lies. Um, you have to use the Bren almost like an assault rifle um, or like a really really fucked up submachine gun. So I guess that's where the fun lies in the Bren. But at the same time, it may not be so fun because it, the spread is still like that of an MG, like a normal machine guns and um it's recoil spread tends to enlarge pretty quickly so close quarters combat you're, you're pretty much gonna have to stick your face up in like other people's faces like really really close so um yeah middle range combat isn't necessarily the greatest thing in the world i mean you could crouch down and spread people and it'll really help out your recoil a lot but i mean you're crouching down and you only have 30 rounds you, you don't have you don't have the luxury the same kind of luxury that you do with other machine guns and just to just crouch down and spray away uh so to speak so Unfortunately, that's that's kind of the main disadvantage that you can, you guys can probably see that the ammo capacity is the uh, the main downfall of the uh, the brand here. The fact that it only has 30 rounds uh, per magazine, and um, yeah, like and that really kind of sucks. I mean, it would have helped a lot if it, it had like at least 40, but nah, I, guess, I suppose next on next on was like nah, we're gonna stay at and we're gonna keep it at 30. Uh, in exchange for that though, I suppose. Um, it, it has a very large ammo capacity. I mean, it, do, it technically does have more rounds uh, than your standard machine gun. Like, it has 30 rounds in the magazine that it starts with, and it has 180 rounds in reserve. So I think that's, like, what, seven clips in, uh, in total? So... If you think about it like that, then yeah, the Bren actually is is looking like a, a pretty good a machine gun in terms of ammo capacity. So I suppose you could last like ten bullets longer, in, like a game games like Fire Team or whatnot. But I think I'd stick to my uh, my other and like your more, your more standard machine guns where they have a hundred rounds total and hundred or hundred rounds over a hundred rounds, so you can last a lot longer overall. So meh. 
I don't know what to think, but the brand, you can definitely say, say for sure that the brand is a pretty unique amongst machine guns, just uh, just due to its low ammo capacity alone. You have to play a little bit more tactically with the, uh, the brand than you can with other machine guns, whereas, I mean, you could still play tactically with uh, machine guns, don't get me wrong, it's just that the brand, you can't afford to just go spray and pray as you, as you might do with other machine guns, so you have to be a little bit more ammo concerted. Uh, con um, Ammo conserves. I don't know where I was going with that, but uh, you just, you have basically you just have to watch your ammo a lot more. Um, granted, the reload speed is pretty fast, is very very fast for for a machine gun, but that's un to be understand. That's to be you know expected because I mean, you gotta have some sort of balancing feature. I mean, even though it's got a pretty good DPS time, you can knock down. I mean, what I mean what I mean by that is that you can knock down people very quickly. It's just that if you only have 30 rounds per magazine, then that's not just having high damage and high DPS isn't enough. So next on put in the fact that um the next on gave basically the Bren a really fast uh, reload speed, and I'm really grateful for that. I mean, if it didn't have a fast reload speed, I'd kind of be like, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm kind of not using this weapon. So yeah. There you go. Um, moving on to let's see. I'm just bring up my uh, my list of things that I normally talk about here. Um, let's see. Just going down really quickly. Damage drop off. Um, because it is a machine gun, it's got very consistent damage drop off. Very rarely will you have to use more than three or four bullets, even at middle range. So that's a good thing. Uh, portability. Um, I would technically say that the portability on the brand is a little bit faster than other machine guns. Um. I don't know, maybe as a balancing feature, like maybe next on you that because the Brent only has 30 rounds, um, they, they increase the, uh, the portability uh, of the Brent over other machine guns because they know you have to use it for close quarters, more, even more so for close quarters combat than do other machine guns, so... I'm thinking that the I'm I'm just I just feel like the Bren's portability is a little bit higher than the rest. Um, rate of fire it's it's pretty fast. I think it's higher than the rest as well uh, because I feel like it has a pretty fast rate of fire and I tend to run out ammo really quickly. Um, it's kind of hard to get accolades with the Bren, trust me. Uh, but um, th then again, I'm just basically pulling these ones out of my ass. So if you guys don't believe me, then feel free to disagree with me. But I just feel like the rate of fire is pretty fast. It's a little bit faster than the rest on the Bren. Uh, accuracy, uh, accuracy. The accuracy on the Bren is a little bit weird. Um, it's very, it's definitely not very accurate. Meaning that, uh, what I mean by accuracy for machine guns is basically the bullet pattern. Like if you're saying where you're just spraying at someone at middle range, not close quarters, but middle range, and you're just spraying at someone, the the what I mean by accuracy for machine guns is how often your bullets tend to hit or center uh, for your spread. And the Bren unfortunately doesn't have a very good accuracy if we're talking about in terms of bullets pattern and bullet uh, where the bullets go uh, when you're spraying at someone. So um, I do only recommend that. that you use a brand at close quarters combat so you guys can ensure that all your bullets will connect with your targets so there you go uh, recoil the recoil on the brand is indeed very very as it's pretty heavy um the recoil spread does spread out very quickly and other surprisingly enough well i shouldn't say surprisingly but uh the recoil spread does uh, spread out more quickly than do other machine guns, so it may be because of the fact that it has a faster rate of fire. I don't know, but just in all pra for all practical purposes and intentions, the Bren does have a higher recoil spread time. So there you go. Or I shouldn't say higher recoil spread time. It just spreads out faster. And moving on from that, uh, recoil kickback. The recoil kickback on the Bren is pretty low, in fact, in, in my opinion, anyway. While the recoil spread may be a little bit off and a little bit bad um the recoil kickback it's pretty low for me whenever i used it i don't remember the bren uh bren's recoil kickback throwing me off aim whenever i was off aim it was basically my own fault so um it wasn't the bren's fault at all so i don't know that's another thing that you guys may or may not agree with me on um overall recoil controllability it's pretty difficult um because of the fact that it has a pretty uh high recoil spread um you may want to consider burst or tap firing with the uh, the brand at middle range so there you go uh, moving on to the tap fire ability, I mean, it is a machine gun, you can definitely tap fire with it, I mean, most machine guns you can, uh, because of their, because of their, you know, built-in uh, rate of fire mechanic. Uh, moving on to the, uh, sprint drawback, sprint drawback is a little bit faster than the rest of the machine guns, but it is still pretty slow because, I mean, it's still, in the end, it's still a machine gun, you know, so... 
Um, it's more like more like it's uh, actually now that I look at the, looking at the preview screen, it's sprint drawback is actually pretty fast. Um, even for like a standard weapon, um, it more than anything it kind of handles like handles like an assault rifle. It's just it just has the portability of a machine gun. So um, yeah, there you go. Uh, draw speed the draw speed is also pretty quick, quick as well. Um, because, like I said, right now, just now, uh, it does handle, uh, its mechanics do handle, it's kind of similarly to an assault rifle, and, um, yeah. Center speed. The center speed on the Bren seems to be a little bit faster than the other rest of machine guns, um, but it's still kind of on the slower side for all overall weapons, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, reload speed. Reload speed is obviously very fast for machine gun because, I mean, it's only got 30 rounds, so... Um, yeah, reload speed is understandably pretty fast. Uh, fire mode, you can only uh, you can only fire full auto with the Bren, so nothing too special there. Um, luck, in terms of luck, I feel like the Bren is is on the lower side of things. I don't remember getting a lot of lottos with the Bren, so um, if you do get a lotto, consider consider yourself pretty lucky because the Bren doesn't really give you that quite often. Uh, moving on to the ammo capacity, I mentioned before, it has uh, 30 rounds in the magazine and 180 rounds in reserve, so it's a little, it's much different from the rest of the machine guns that you guys have seen so far. In fact, I believe this is the only machine gun that actually has a different kind of ammo capacity that doesn't have like a, in other words, it doesn't have a hundred, a standard 100 rounds in magazine or a belt view magazine and uh, uh, no, 100 rounds in reserve. Instead, it has a belt or not a belt. It's got a mag, it's got a box magazine and um, it's only got 30 rounds in it, so. It seem it's seeming like Nexon really intended for the brand to be used more like an assault rifle. Like it, I I'm I like to think that the brand now now that I think about it, I'd like to think that the Nexon intended for the brand to be like some sort of assault rifle slash machine gun hybrid. Just like how the M two four nine Para was supposed to be some sort of a machine gun slash submachine gun uh hybrid. I don't know, but that's just where I'm. That's just what I'm. What my mind thinks. My mind can think some awkward things sometimes. So if you guys are like, "What the hell is he talking about?" Then just you can just ignore me on that. But anyways, uh, moving on to the uh, what's next here? The muzzle noise. The muzzle noise on Brent is a very very deep noise. Um, it's very loud too. So uh, if you guys do hear that, do hear a Brent, then it's pretty. The muzzle noise is pretty unique on the Brent. So um, yeah, if you hear the Brent going off, then. Well, you know someone's using the bread. Uh, moving on to the attachment options, you cannot attach anything at all, not even an extended mag. So Nexon apparently is pretty adamant on uh, you using the uh, the Bren as a uh, as like a really really close quarters combat machine gun. So yeah, I would have liked if they could at, uh, could at least increase the uh, the um, what should we call it the ammo capacity uh, per magazine on uh, the Bren, but whatever, it's Nexon, they can do what they want, <laughs> and um, we'll, st we'll still have to use it anyway. Um, moving on to the, um, the whether or not it's fire team worthy. Um, I would say it's pretty fire team worthy, but it's not as fire team worthy as other machine guns, because even though it has 10 more bullets uh, overall than do other machine guns, I would prefer just spraying at people for a 100 bullets straight, or straight, 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 so, um, yeah, you can use it, you can use it, definitely, um, but it's like, eh, it's better just bring it along with another machine gun. Quarantine worthy. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> You're better off you bring off another, bring another machine gun. Cause I mean, even more of those other machine guns at least do have a hundred round capacity. So, Bren, yeah, thirty rounds ain't gonna get you far. So my frank personal opinions on the Bren is that it is an interesting machine gun. It's not the best by far, obviously, but um, it's very interesting, and it forces you to play uh, play with the Bren uh, with the, with a kind of style that you are not so used to using if you're an ad if you're an avid machine gun user. I'm kind of a machine gun user. Um, like I sometimes go around rocking machine guns like MG34, RPK74, M or not M. I wish I had the M, the RPK74 because the RPK74 is one of the best machine guns in my opinion uh, and, um yeah it's just that the Bren kind of forces you to play in a style in kind of a different style so um it's very interesting i they do definitely i do recommend you guys at least try it out i don't expect you guys to actually like it but i i just i, I just suggest you guys um at least try it out if you guys haven't done so already um i know some people i know lots of people just don't like the brand at all because of the fact that you know it's a machine gun and it has 30 rounds but um i i'm kind of like liking it. it it's definitely i may not do well with it but i'm definitely liking it it, it
it's making me play in a different kind of style that's outside my comfort zone uh, than I'm used to with using other machine guns. So definitely I'd have to give the brand props for that. So, yeah. In any case, uh, just so you guys, just if you guys are wondering what you guys are, uh, what you guys need to use in order to get the brand, because it is a forgeable variant, um, you need to buy the RPK, uh, just the RPK, the normal GP standard RPK, and um, forge it with seven uh, replica pounds, and there you go, there's your, uh, there's your brand. So yeah, thanks guys for watching this review on the Bren LMG, and um, yeah, my name is Asian Psycho, aka Toast Sniper 98 I hope you guys have found this review useful and somewhat interesting at the very least, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. You could hit that, didn't it?